G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here, Partner Manager and Product Evangelist for Valo. Now, in this video, what we're gonna take a look at is the capabilities around news and page templating that Valo provides. Now, we all know that um, providing an easy way to create content for intranet owners or content author authors is paramount to the success of, of an intranet. Keeping your intranet up to date and fresh with content is extremely important. Now, as part of the Valo toolbox, we've got the capability to not only create news and pages, but create a page and then save that as a template and then allow your authors and owners and content creators to really focus on what their job at hand is, and that's creating content, not to worry about the techno the underlying technology behind the scenes, all right? So in this video, we're gonna take a, a look at creating a, a couple of different page templates and then how we can reuse those and, uh, and make it a lot easier for your content creators. So let's dive in and, and have a look. So here we are on the home page of our intranet, and the first thing we're gonna to need to do is actually build out our page to use as a template. So using the Valo uh, toolbox in the bottom right-hand corner here, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just create a blank page. So let's click on page page and you can see already uh, that we've got and what comes with Valo is a number of different uh, templates that are just there out of the box. So we're going to build on top of one of those. So let's just choose blank and in our scenario here we're going to uh, use and create two different how-to guide page templates. This one's going to be all about the intranet. So let's go uh, how-to guide intranet and Let's just keep it at blank. And, and what you can see here is that you get a preview of the page in our little window. And let's go ahead and create that page. That page is gonna be created. We're gonna be taken to that page directly into edit mode. And we're gonna start building that template. So the page is now being created. Now let's go ahead and uh, start creating our template. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just adjust our title region here. So we're gonna choose a different layout and let's now uh, give this uh, header a, a background image, all related to our intranet. So because it's a how-to guide on the intranet, we want every single page of a how-to guide for the intranet to have this branding. So we're gonna add this image as the header. Now we can move this around if we need to. We might just move this up to the top a little bit further. Uh, and now we can start building at the body of our page. Now, in this case, I want this page to be a one-third right. So we're gonna choose one-third right, and it's gonna change the layout of this section. And I want every single one of these pages to have a person to contact or a page owner or somebody, uh, if somebody needs to find out more information, we want them to be able to easily find that person. So what we're gonna do is add the people web part on here and it's going to prompt the user when they create a page to fill in this uh, fill in this person and I'm just going to give the, the web part a title and I also want to allow the content author to add some relevant or re other reference materials. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add the quick links web part. We're gonna give this a title um, for uh, additional, let's go additional reference information. And they can then use this web part to link out to other uh, reference material. The other thing we're gonna do on this page is we're going to add the text uh, editor web part and let's just put in some placeholder text and let's go uh, and prompt the user, replace this with the body content and that will do us for this example. Now let's publish that page first. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna use this page and we're gonna create a template. So again, coming down to the Valo toolbox here, we're going to click on create content. Now this time we're going to choose this option of creating a page template. Now the template type is just gonna be page only because we're just talking about pages here and we need to give this template a name. So what we'll do is we'll go how to guide and because it relates just to the intranet, 
uh, we're going to just uh, suffix that with, with intranet. Let's go ahead and now create that page template. Once this is created, this template is now going to be available in that drop down list of available templates for the content author to be able to, to use and uh, build out a page. So there we go, the template's been created. Now let's go ahead and use that template and create a page based on that. So again, down to the toolbox, down to create content. We're gonna create a page this time. Now this option here, you can see that we've now got a how-to guide for the intranet as a page template option. So we're gonna choose that. We'll get a nice preview of the page uh, in the in the preview window down the bottom. Now let's go and give this page a title how to create a news article and we'll go ahead and now create that. So once this page has been created now, we're gonna have the same uh, header section, the same header image, the same web parts that we've just uh, built that page with and now as a content author, I can quickly, easily start to build out that page content. We are now done. The page has been created. I'm at the page in edit mode and I can now uh, start to build this page out. So here we go, the web part. For more information, we need to contact Alex about this particular topic. Uh, so we'll pop him in here. Uh, we can then add some links to other reference material there and I can then click inside here and I can start to build out my content. So there's one page template that we've created. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to now uh, build another page template just to show you the difference here and how uh, how that works. So I'm gonna use this as the base of our, of our new template, all right? So let's just reuse this page that we're on. But what we're gonna do now is I'm going to edit the title region and I'm gonna choose color block for this example. I'm gonna change now the image and we're gonna do a how-to guide that's all about teamwork. So we're gonna use this header and we're now going to also add in a new section at the top, which is just gonna be a single uh, column section. We're going to add a quick links web, web part up here. What we might also wanna do here is let's now just add a section background to this section. What we might do as well is let's move and not use the additional information uh, quick links web part on the right. We'll keep everything the same. We might just remove Alex here. Let's now republish this page because we're just reusing this page. But now we're going to create another template. So create content, create page template, same thing, we're gonna choose page. This time, it's still a how-to guide, but this time it's gonna be all around teamwork. All right, so we're gonna create that page. Same thing, it's gonna create the template, same title area, same background image. Once it's created, it's gonna be available to the content author in the list of templates that's available for them to use. There we go, the template's been created. Now let's have a look at the options we've got when we go and create some content now. So let's now just jump back onto the homepage of the intranet. And now using the toolbox again, let's create a page. Now what we've got are two options. So we've got a how-to guide for the intranet and if we click, click on that, we get to see the visual of that page template. Now if I click on teamwork, I get to see the, the, the visual of this particular template. Now. Let's uh, create a page based on this new template that we've just created. So how to request a team and let's create this page. So we should now uh, be taken to a page that is based on this new template, should have the image uh, in the title area, the blue teamwork image. And then we've also, if you remember, we, we added that quick link section uh, just under the title area. So we're all done now, all created. We're taken to the page again, directly in edit mode. You can see the image across the top in the title area. We've got the quick link section. We gave it a background color uh, and there we go. We are ready to, uh, ready to create our page. 
Now in this uh, instance, let's put Nesta as the contact person for more information and let's now publish that page. So as quickly and as easily as that, we've now built out two really simple page templates that gives us a nice visual uh, difference, uh, differentiation of the type of page that it is. They're both how-to guides, but they're about a different topic or a different, uh, different area. So that's a great way using the Valo page template capabilities to be able to give your pages and your content authors especially uh, a nice easy way and a standardized way to be able to create their content.